on guys, my name is Jero, and in today's video we're going to be doing Survival with Hero and Mitten, episode 5, I believe we're on right now. So say hello, Mitten, to my viewers. Hello. So, Mitchell has been doing lots of work on the server, unlike me. I would have. To be honest, I left I left for a week and didn't, like, come back to, like, like, because I, I kind of lost imp inspiration, but then I did come back. And when I did, I was expecting to have, like, 90% of the game completed, except you literally had, like, a building different, that's all. Yeah. Alright, so guys, I also got this insanely beast sword, sharp 4, looting 3. No one breaking? No, no one breaking, but it's still a good sword. Nub. So I'm gonna enchant a bow. It says power 4 on the enchantment thing, so I'm hoping I can get infinity on there too. I actually got infinity from a skeleton drop. It was an unbreaking two infinity one bow. So I just you combined just a lot really of bows. I, I didn't yell. Uh, it wasn't that good, but it's great. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, power four flame one. And I just combine it with unbreaking. Uh, you could actually check out some of the bows at the uh, XP farm I created and combine them. Alright, so guys, this is Warp Mobs, which is a mob farm that Michelle has created. Basically, skeletons drop down through there. And then you use the... Either uh, potions, or if you want your MCMO swords level to go up, you just hit them, which takes a bit. Yeah. But the potions is extremely easier. Um, you should also show them the farm I created. Oh yeah, we'll go to Michelle's house. And I'll, ex I'll explain about it. Also, I'm saving up 24 diamonds because I need a set of Prop 4. Alright, All right, so this is the Bud Switch mini farm I've created. Uh, I forget actually who made the actual design for it. So this is a Bud Switch for 1.8 uh, using a slime block. So I would do the one that gives you 450 items per second, except the thing is that it doesn't work on servers. It's not per second, so it's... it's per minute. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> 450 yeah. per second, that's a little <laughs> overkill. Yeah, but... Uh, it also used the lighting bugs uh, for the last one I chose, but it didn't work on a server because of the tick rate. Anyway, so these dispensers are filled up with bone meal I got from the mob grinder. So uh, if you could demonstrate, do you need some seeds or potatoes or something? Alright, I'm gonna go grab some seeds. Alright. I got a seed, hopefully this is enough. Yeah, you'll, you'll get more. So yeah, basically you just hold it down, you keep picking up items, and then, yeah. Come on. Give me the seeds. They're stuck in there. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go down. That's why I put the hoe right there. It works pretty nicely. Yeah, and I'll show you the redstone behind it. So like I said, it's, it's a bud switch, nothing too advanced, you know. It's basically just a few repeaters, dispensers, and some dust. It's literally, it's only two sticky pistons, a slime block, three dispensers, four or so repeaters, one redstone block, some dust, and you got yourself a mini firm that's really fast and it works on servers. Uh, the bud switch makes it so it works anywhere on any server and it works not, like 100% of the time. But in single player, the 450 per minute firm is extremely good. But that also means it takes 450 bone meal ish each time, so yeah. Yeah, I like this one just because it, it's still really effective, but it doesn't take that much bone meal. Yeah, it, it was a bit hard. I, it was difficult to get that back dispenser because uh, I had a piston blocking it. But yeah, I also need to go mining. Um, I, th I went mining in my. Yeah, room. do you have a piece of leather I could borrow? Because I want to enchant a book. I actually have five. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> cow tipper. Uh, here, I'll make a book too. And soon enough, we'll. Uh, there's some paper in the bottom chest, but soon enough, we'll be able to actually fight the weather. Yeah, we still need diamond armor and stuff, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. See, I have like a hundred thousand things to do, and I keep like. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. Lapis. Last time I used some of your Lapis, so I gifted you uh, some stuff. I have like a stack of Lapis to give you, though. Right. Projectile Protection 4 on a book. Oh god, here we go. Just pro Projectile Protection 4, really. Okay, I could do one more, I believe. I got a yeah, I need to go home and get some lettuce. Did you just hear me? I need to go home and get some lettuce for enchanting. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I just coughed. Sharpness out. 3 book. Oh, god. I can get an efficiency 4 diamond pick. Uh, I say you do that. I have to get my levels up first. I'm gonna be back at the warp mobs. Alright, well guys, I'm gonna cut the recording and I'll see you guys when I have 30 levels. Make this a little more interesting. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, mic was down. Alright guys, I'm back. And we're gonna do this enchantment on the pick. Efficiency 4. What are we gonna get? Oh, I was just hoping for fortune. Aqua Affinity. Prot 4, actually. That's not that bad. Dude, should I enchant to like another bow with flame one, so that um, I can combine them together to get flame two and maybe get like another power four? Oh my god, Adrian made a house and it actually looks decent. Usually he makes like shitty rectangular boxes. Well, it looks quite nice. It's still pretty you. Yeah, but for someone who builds rectangular boxes, it's pretty good. I used to be that guy that made rectangular boxes. Yeah, now I add death to my builds. Yeah, same. But then again, it doesn't look that bad. I, I still like the colors and the contrast and stuff. He hasn't put a roof on it yet. Like a proper roof. Yeah, I noticed that. You guys remember, I'm owner of the server, so I do have permissions for like slash fly and stuff. So don't be like freaking out and saying I'm cheating or anything like that. And yeah, I'm not gonna be using it for any like game breaking stuff. So like, I'm all, probably won't be using like, I'm not, well, I know I won't be using any like slash heal when I'm like uh, about to die and stuff. None of that happening. Yeah. Flies off. Dude, I wanna troll him so bad and do, just do slash V and start hitting him. <laughs> Dude, I just killed him. I didn't know I was gonna kill him with that. Oh my god, he didn't even set a home either. What a noob. Oh my gosh. He doesn't have perms all at it. I didn't mean for that to happen. I'm glad it did though. Put all my armor back on. Oh, I threw my chest plate in there, didn't I? Now I just have a bunch of his crap. Alright. <laughs> If I do just slash spawn. Yeah, By the way, did you give me a sword called poop? Is it is it iron? 
Yes. No, I didn't give it to you. I might have just dropped it. No. But yeah, I did name a sword poop. Oh my gosh, it's getting more home. It's slash home home. I need an anvil. I have one at my house. Oh, I'm almost done sorting my place out. Hmm. What should I call my sword? I think it's been a fairly long time. It's been quite an eventful episode of Enchanting and showing you guys the new stuff. So I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. And did lag clear stuff? I hope so. I think clear lag just cleared all of this stuff. That sucks. Anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video and tell me what you thought of it down in the comments below. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.